Hey, what's up, Bob's Thoughts? We are back with another opening. Uh, I did not mention in my last video, but I made a special order last week, and it just came today. I said I was getting a surprise package in the mail, and it came today. We have two Hidden Fates tins. And I wanted to try out one of these mystery boxes, which you can get from Walmart. This one's an older one, I think. But uh, it has a chance to have a vintage pack inside. Um, so, you know, I thought I'd just try it out just for ha-has and see, uh, see if we could get anything from that. But I thought it would be kind of fun just, you know, what if there was... You know, look at that, Neo Discovery. There could be any, any of those in there. Even if there's not, nonetheless, uh, I just think it's fun you know, having the chance to pull that. And we'll have fun opening those packs anyways. But without further ado, um, I wanted to get into these Hidden Fates tins, which I'm really excited to open. I haven't, this is the first, these are the first two Hidden Fates tins I'm opening uh, ever. So I think that's the next big set I'm gonna look to collect. Um, but uh, yeah, we're hoping for some shiny pulls. Um, and hopefully luck is on our side because we did not have the best pulls with the Burning Shadows booster boxes that we got. The second box did have a lot of pulls, but they were not, uh, they weren't great ones, you know. All right, let's open this baby up. We got the scuffed Gyarados box topper, tin topper right here. Oh, and a code card. And a code card, but yes, yeah, scuffed. If you look at the, it's like totally bent and, <laughs> but uh, I mean, hey, it's a Gyarados. It looks a little, does look a little scuffed there though. Huh, anyways. Okay, we have four Hidden Fates. Four Hidden Fates packs here. Let's see, we got one of each. Nice. Okay. So, uh, I think we'll start off with the birds. The birds, as most people call it. Now, these are... Ten additional cards, so I believe the trick is three from the top. One, two, three. Being careful, best I can to not uh, not bend these at all. But we have <sighs> Lieutenant Surge's strategy, a Magmar. Misty Cerulean Gym, Voltorb, Coughing, Ekans, looks like a storm, oh, he's trying to get away from that Articuno that's going to eat him, uh, a Cubone, a Magikarp, oh, okay, Shiny Altaria, oh, he pulled the bird's first one, <laughs> oh, man, first pack, and we pulled the birds, so that's a, that's a nice, juicy start. Okay, maybe it is four. All right, so that's a juicy start. We have, uh, that's a loaded pack right there. We got the Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres, the birds. Um, so good start so far. It's a good start so far. Now, let's get into pack number two with the Mew. Code for the leech, as always, code for the leech. Uh, we're gonna do one, two, three, and four, I guess. I don't know if I'm even doing this right. Okay, looks like I did do it right. We are gonna start off with energy. Lieutenant Surge's strategy. Magmar, blowing some flames. Misty Cerulean Gym. Magic Carp, 
Oh, another, a different Ekans art. That's kind of cool. See, I didn't know there was different uh, multiple arts for cards in this set. Geodude. That's a cool Pikachu card. I like that. Oh, Articuno GX shiny. <gasps> oh my god, that's sick. That's such a cool card. I don't even know if this is a shiny, but uh, it's an Articuno GX. I'm going to put that off to the side there. That is awesome. I'm super happy with that pull. Uh, it looks like the centering is near perfect on this card as well. That is a freaking awesome card. First pull of my Hidden Fates. All right, let's get into pack number three with the Mewtwo. Uh, again, we're going for any of the shiny, uh, the Mewtwo, the Evolutions, obviously the Charizard. Um, but any of those cards is what we're searching for. Uh, just being super careful with these. All right, card for the leech, code for the leech, hidden fates. Uh, the trick is one, two, three, and four. Okay. Now, okay, we're gonna start this off with a fairy energy, Metapod, Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap. Star you, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Pikachu, Charmander, Paris, and a Mr. Mime. Oh, that's the rare for that one. So, our last fact pack of uh, tin number one. Last pack of tin number one with the Charizard on the cover code for the leech one two three four but yeah this uh this set i think i'm really gonna dive into um i mean it is a really cool set and i recently started gaining more interest in it after the failed burning shadows attempt to pull any of the good shinies there, but uh, I just think it's cool that they never released a booster box for this set. So like the cards are kind of hard to obtain. You can only get them from tins and other stuff. We have a Giovanni and a Hollow Vaporeon, nice card. Um, you can only get these from tins or uh, like those elite trainer boxes. Uh, I don't know if they have blitz blister packs for these, but if they do, um, I'm not aware of them. Uh, so let's get into this Raichu tin. The big old Raichu tin. Hopefully we can pull one of those evolutions. Those are really cool. Scuffed Raichu. Actually, wow. This, okay. Let's look at this Raichu card. This is actually in almost perfect condition. No bends, nothing, like really straight edge card. That's cool. And we have the code for the leech. All right. I'm gonna put that Raichu right off to the side there. And we have one of each again, I think. Yep, one of each. I'm not sure how these are able to come if they, you know, if you can get four Mewtwo packs or whatnot, but, uh, all right, let's mix it up. Oh, yeah, see, I got two Mewtwo packs this time, no Mew pack. Anyways, we'll start off with the Charizard this time. And again, I'm being really careful opening these just because I'm trying not to get a glimpse of anything in the back, but I also don't want to bend these ones. They like, seem to be in better condition than the other newer packs I've opened uh, recently. Two, three, four. All right. 
to start off, we have Dark Energy Metapod, Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, Magikarp Playing with Friends. I really like this Pikachu art. Like, he's just having a grand old time. I don't know where the bubbles are coming from, but he looks to be like maybe he's just hopping through the forest all happy and whatnot. Voltorb, coughing, Cubone, a Metapod followed by a Butterfree non hollow. So, pack number one Butterfree non hollow. Uh, let's dive into pack number two. Pack numero a dose. Card for the leech, code for the leech. One, two, three, and four. Okay. We have Psychic Energy, Graveler, Far Fetched, Brock's Pewter City Gym, uh, Ekans, Charmander, Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu. Oh, that's a sick Charmeleon! And another Vaporeon. Dude, this Charmeleon's awesome. That's a shiny Charmeleon. I don't know what that goes for, but uh, that's a really cool card. I'm going to set him off to the side. And we are going to get into the birds pack now. The birds. We already pulled the birds. First pack, I think it was a sign. We might have something good in the last two packs, hopefully. Uh, we got an HQ, code for the leech. But uh, yeah, I was told these gold, the gold cards in this set are extremely hard to pull. Uh, but I am like fully ready to embrace pulling for these cards. Um, like I, I'm, I'm hooked on on hidden fates now. Uh, anyways, we got Eki, Perry, Chari, Slopey. Eki. Oh, Giovanni's Exile. Nice. Woo. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about. All right. So that is going to go over here. Giovanni's Exile. We're going to sleeve these babies up in a moment. Let's get this. Uh, the last pack we have right here. Um, oh, God. Okay. Code for the leech. Four. And I don't know what the prices are on these cards I've pulled so far, but we're going to just uh look up the most of these later so we got water energy sabrina suggestion scyther charmeleon evie ekans paris caterpie -P, charmander psyduck and another giovanni's exile what the hell is this look oh my god that's crazy that's literally crazy i just pulled two giovanni's exiles in two packs Oh my god, what is the odds of that? What is the luck? Like, what? what is my luck with Hidden Fates? That is awesome. So we're off to a great start for Hidden Fates so far. Um, <laughs> I can't believe that. I, I really... <laughs> I'm in total shock by that. Um, so, yeah, the last part of this video, we're going to get into this mystery power box. It's going to be five packs, totally random packs, with a chance to pull... Uh, a vintage pack from, you know, a long time ago. I'm not really expecting to get anything. If I can figure if I can open this box. I'm not really expecting to get anything out of here uh, that's worth anything of value. You know, I'd love to get one of the old Neo sets or anything from that era. Uh, that would be awesome, but... Again, I'm not really expecting anything. So these come with five pa five booster packs, uh, two mystery items, uh, one code card, and a coin. Um, come on. Okay. Let's open this up. And you can get these from Walmart, I think. So let's see what's inside. 
Oh, I have a card here. A Sun and Moon base set. Sun and Moon base set pack. We have a Cosmic Eclipse pack. What do we got? So, a Sword and Shield base set. What else do we got in here? Oh, a Lowen Raichu is one of the cards in here. So that's, I think that's one of my mystery items. We have Sun and Moon Unified Minds. And the last pack is a, another Cosmic Eclipse. That's pretty good, I think, for, uh, you know, what the box is worth. Uh, I don't know, you know, what else is in here? We got, we got a Hydrigion. I mean, the card is not in great shape. The edging's all, all screwed up on that. So the items are a bust. But uh, let's see, it comes with this Pokey coin. That's kind of cool. I don't know what Pokemon that is off the top of my head, but that's that's kind of cool. So let's get into the Cosmic Eclipse packs. Um, now I'm not even sure. I don't. I'm not expecting to get anything from these because I mean Walmart. I don't really trust at all. I feel like I don't know, someone was telling me they uh, reseal their packs and whatnot. So, I mean, I don't really know what to expect. I'm not really expecting to pull anything crazy from here, but hey, if we can get a cool card, uh, awesome. Togedomaru, Absol, Cosmog, Psyduck, Trapinch, and I actually don't even remember what's in this set that's good. Pig Knight and a Swoobat, non hollow. All right. Let's open the second Cosmic Eclipse pack. And I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm fully ready to order some more, uh, some more Hidden Fates because after those pulls I just got, wow, wow, wow. I am ready to, I'm ready to get what's, what's there for me. All right, Clay, Prinlop, Beastite, Sfeel, Natu, Palpitoad, Django, Jangmo, Deerling, Ponyard. Oh my god! <gasps> what is this? A low one Persian GX. That's a shiny. That's a, that is a rain. That's that's a secret hyper rare, I think. I don't know what it is, but that's a sick card. Okay, Cosmic Eclipse, you have proved yourself in this mystery power box. Don't know what that card's worth, but it's really cool. Um We'll dive into the Unified Minds next, and I'll do the Sword and Shield last, but that is awesome pull so far for uh, awesome pull today in general. Um, card for the Leech, three and four. And the Leech, the Leech loves his codes. I don't know why. Oops, there goes, there goes my my setup right there sorry about that we're just gonna get situated again okay we got psychic energy tauros tortuga i love that line in uh what is it um pirates of the caribbean tortuga mate yeah yenma young goose a mana and a tapufini non hollow all right, so that's from the Unified Minds. The base set, Sun and Moon. I don't know what is possible to pull from the base set, Sun and Moon, because I never bought the base set packs. I always had, uh, I always got like the, the subsets that come with it. Uh, okay, code for the leech, one, two, three, and four. Okay. We have Water, Great Ball, Dark Tricks, Radicate, Alolan Diglett. I don't know what these Alolans are either. Uh, that was something that is new that was introduced, I think, recently. But I have no idea what they are. Alolan Radicate and... Ooh! Lorantis GX Full Art. Uh, that's, that's a sick pull. I'm happy with that pull. And our last pack 
is the Sword and Shield base set. I believe the best card from this set is uh, Boss's Orders, I want to say. I don't know. I, I'm not too, too familiar with uh, the set itself. I've only opened a handful of these packs. I think I opened a few Rebel Clash a while back. Um, and that's about it for this set. So I don't really know. I don't really know what to expect here. Uh, Fire Energy. Got Rhydon. Big Charm. Thwacky. Raihorn. Mincino. Chinchu. Krogunk. Meowth. A quick ball and a Cinderace. All right, well, that's all for the uh, cards today. Um, again, I'm really, really happy with how we did for uh, for uh, the Hidden Fates. I mean, we we got six pulls from that. Um, just to go over them, you know, real quick, we got this shiny Altera. We got the birds. We got Articuno Solo. We got Giovanni's Exile. Giovanni's Exile and the Shiny Charmeleon. So these are all getting sleeved up. Uh, they're going in the binder. I just got this awesome new binder. I'll reveal next stream, or not stream, but next video um, where I'll showcase what I've pulled so far. Uh, but. If you like the video, smash that like and subscribe button. Uh, we'll be back with another video soon. Um, but thanks for tuning in. Uh, over and out. Thanks for tuning in to Bob's Vault. And we'll see you next time.